Hi, I'm Ryan Neal from The Vulgar Skill and Swordwind Historical Swordsmanship. And I'm here to talk about Chapter 16 in Godinho, uh, where we'll be if it's sort of building off of our last action. Instead of the opponent counter thrusting, he's going to be giving us a parry and attempting to gain our sword. And uh, how do we deal with that? Um, I'm going to bring Eric in. And we're going to be in our established Nails Up play. And in this action, I'm going to give him Nails Up Thrust. Instead of the counter thrust we saw in the last chapter, he's going to gain. He's going to use the middle of his sword, or a strong part of his sword, to essentially do sort of that cross parry that we usually see. Except, I won't let him find my sword. I'm going to give my Nails Up Thrust, and as he does, I'm going to go around his wrist. Could you specifies around the hand and deliver a Tahoe to the face? Um, a few key points on that. One, it's best if you don't let him meet the sword at all. It can be done if he finds the sword, but if he finds the sword, this can be done, but since he's parried and is ready for me, the big risk you take there if he finds your sword is I go here, as I'm doing this, he gives me a good hit in tempo, and at best we're doubling. So it's best when he gives you that opportunity to just fake his parry essentially, don't let him find you at all, and then give the cut. That squeeze the fingers is a great way to power it. Once you're done with your wheel, squeeze those fingers. And make sure it's a Tahoe. Do not give a Reves, a backhand cut. Um, if you give a thrust here, and you give this kind of a Reves, this creates a lot of weakness over here. This sort of outside line is very vulnerable. And it, it takes more time than you think it does. And it gives them the opportunity to just thrust or wound the arm. So give a Tahoe so that if he decides to get crafty, the line is closed better. And you can just ride over, line's closed, and hit him. An alternative given by Godinho here is actually to free below. A freeing is what many fancy systems would call disengage. You go below the sword. So instead I give here, he goes below, or he goes to gain, I'm sorry. I go below, and I give a nails down thrust in the belly. Godinho has me leave here with a Tahoe and Reves in case he comes back. So I'm coming, I step back, I clear my line. So one more time, I'll show that second version. I get the thrust, I free below, I give him a thrust to the belly. Then as he returns, I clear my line, I come back on guard in case I didn't kill him or failed in my uh, initial wounding. Um, so this kind of introduces us to the idea of freeing which can be above or below and is done in various ways, but it's sort of a way to um, evade the opponent trying to gain us or to uh, evade an attempted crossing parry by our opponent. Thank you.